Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Once, a chosen undead gathered great and unthinkable power, collecting the souls of the original great lords. The very same undead sacrificed himself at the kiln of the first flame, breathing life back into a dying world for a time. That was long ago. Now, the world grows dark and cold. The great flame flickers and fades. The end of the world is upon us, truly, now. Oh, Chosen Undead. Perhaps they could prevent this end of the world. Well, the good thing about Undead is they never really die. Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls with myself, Hollow. Thank you for choosing to join me on this journey into the end. We're going to make a character. Damn, that looks slick. First, out of the classes, we have Knight, an obscure knight of poor renown who collapsed roaming the land, sturdy owing to high vitality and stout armor. A mercenary, 
and veteran of the battlefield, high dexterity allows masterful wielding of dual scimitars. This is the class that I basically picked in my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, if you recall. The warrior, descendant of northern warriors, famed for their brawn, utilizes high strength to wield a heavy battle axe. The herald, a former herald who journeyed to finish a quest undertaken, wields a sturdy spear and employs a gentle restorative miracle. The thief, a common thief and pitiful deserter, wields a dagger intended for backstabs alongside a military issue bow. The assassin, who stalks their prey from the shadows, favors sorceries in addition to the thrusting swords. The sorcerer, a loner who left a form- oh god that word, who left formal learning stuff to pursue further research, commands soul sorceries using high intelligence. The pyromancer, oh look at that one, a pyromancer from a remote region who manipulates flame. Also an adept close combat warrior who wields a hand axe. The cleric. Ooh, look at that blue. That's the nicest looking cleric I've ever seen. They're usually so ugly. A traveling cleric who collapsed from exhaustion. Channels high faith to cast many and varied miracles. And finally, the deprived, naked, and of unknown origin, either an unfathomable fool in life or was stripped to possessions upon burial. We have been resurrected. And we come back as the thief. Common, a deserter, with a dagger, and a military issue bow. As my burial gift, I was buried with a fire gem, a material used to upgrade fire weapons, more appropriate for a warrior than pretty trinkets. I tried to get me, but it was very hard, and you can actually do great customization in this game, so if you want to spend hours working on it, you can make yourself, but I didn't. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to the Cemetery of Ash. I am a thief. Let's go. Oh my god, it instantly just feels so smooth. Control the camera. Alright, so this is the tutorial area. And they always leave one secret in the tutorial area, so we're looking out for that. But we'll just uh, enjoy it. Let's, let's just enjoy it. Regular attack. Okay. Strong attack. Alright, let's go two hand. Alright, let's get a backstab, shall we? There we go. Oh, that's not backstab. <laughs> neither, neither is that. Okay, so I am nervous about the fact that I'm using a dagger. Because I've never used one in the Dark Souls games or any of the Souls games. I have a lot to learn when it comes to daggers. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to dual wheel daggers or use a specific dagger. But I will be doing a dagger plus bow build is the idea. That may change as we play, but the idea is to be a pyromancer archer who wields daggers. We've just ca collected the Ashen Estus Flask, and there might even be some lore in it, which I'm very excited about, because this is something I wasn't able to do in the online test. First, we have the Estus Flask, the undead treasure, these dull green flasks. Filled with Estus, a bonfires, and drink to restore HP. The journey of an undead has always traced the bonfires, and no journey of import has been made without an Estus Flask. And then the new item, the Ashen Flask. Quite befitting of an unkindled, an ashen estus flask turns a bonfire's heat cold. The opposite. Are we an unkindled? Perhaps. 
Now, who's this guy? Yeah, I know about backstabs. I know about them. Ooh. It's satisfying. It's just good. Oh, we have an archer here. Wanted to test that a little bit, but no. Guess not. Or a crossbowman. Now, something that's very important to me as a player of the Souls games. Yes! Now, some shields cannot parry, I have learned in my play session. Some cannot parry. I want to land my first parry. Now, I'm wandering aimlessly here. There's lots to take in. Let's see if we can't land a parry. Oh, we can. First try. Baby, that's a good sign. And it's none of this bullshit from Dark Souls 2. It's just a true parry. Where they don't fall on their ass. We still have half parries. <laughs> oh boy. Not good. Come here, pal. Let's dance. Oh, another half parry. Shit. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, I'm learning. There we go. It'll take a moment for me to adjust to the new combat style. It most definitely feels like an update to Dark Souls 1. More responsiveness, I would say, is the most obvious defining difference between Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3. But it most definitely feels more like Dark Souls 1 than it does of 2. We have Kick here. So this is, you know, just the area where it's going to tell us all the basics. We've got parry information there. Look at this. So my character potentially is an unkindled. We've sort of gathered that because we're using the Ashen Flask. It works with us. And we're in this graveyard and we've awoken... Now, in Dark Souls 1, you were revived and brought back from the dead by the clerics, right? With the dark sign. In Dark Souls 2, you're just a man who is inflicted with the dark sign, the curse. And you find your way to Drang Lake. And everything happens there. This time, we've awoken again. And there's answers I'd like. Turn back. Is this the secret I spoke of? Is this the bullshit enemy they force you to fight? Oh, the view. Oh my god. It's the bullshit enemy. Let's do it. Ooh, shit! Oh, God. It takes, like, nothing. Whoa! So agile. It's like a crystal lizard. lizard. Take that tail off, you pal. Whoa! The fuck? Oh. Oh, this is visually amazing. Don't mind me. Ooh. Look at the way it moves, man. It nigh on one shots me, man. Just barely doesn't. Ooh. Can we defeat it? We're gonna struggle with a dagger like this. Fucking gonna try. Whew. We've done some good damage here. Look at the way it moves, man. I have none of that. Whew. Where are you going, pal? You're like a bone wheel. I love being agile against this guy. I feel strength would struggle, perhaps. But the damage the strength would get is obviously much greater. We're doing great, though. Just don't get cocky. 
Oh my god, no way. Oh, yes. Come here. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky now. Patience. He's gonna roll, isn't he? He's gonna come for me. That was a jump, not a roll, but it'll do. Ooh, I nearly got stuck on a corner there. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna distance ourselves. Heart is beating, heart is racing. Ooh. Barely got out of that one. Dodge that. Okay. Oh no! Don't fail me now, Aaron. Come on. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! Come here! That's what I'm talking about! Titanite scale. I'll fucking have you. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my god, it's like the executioner from uh, from Bloodborne. Ah, uh, It's like the uh, Black Knight in Dark Souls 1. In the Undead Berg. Fucking one shot, mate. I'm heading back. Oh, okay, so the obvious and beautiful level design leads me to try and escape this cornered valley, as it were, and progress. The light shines down and drags me naturally this way. So I'm going to go against that and head back and see if there's anything I've missed. Originally, you spawn in that corner there, right there, that tree. And you head this way, and I went left, didn't I? Let's try right. What will be down here? It teaches you how to sprint, and we find ourselves with an item. Too easy. Surely. Amazing. No ambush. Okay, so let's head the way it wants me to. I believe we've seen everything. Toggle weapons? Oh, the bow. How does it work? Okay, so we have the aim. We have uh, one-handed, which I cannot fire. I'm trying to use left triggers to do that. I must use it two-handed. Okay. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh, that's gorgeous, man. Fuck yes. And look up there. Oh, we have to climb up the cliff like that. Look up there. That's where we've got to head, isn't it? Where the hell am I? Okay, so, in Dark Souls 3, they made it possible to use bows, and that's why I'm doing a bow build. Something fresh, something new. Something not everyone has done. And we found ourselves our first bonfire. Kindle. My first achievement. Rest. A new emote. And our flasks are restored. So two-handing this dagger is going to be way to go a lot. Blocking is not something I'll do much of. I'll be dodging. Parrying is why I'll be using the shield. So why don't we go around like this for now. I'm going to test out the bow now. See how good it is. Now I should be able to lock on and just fire and, and just unleash hell on him. Wow! The damage! Shocking! Whoa! There's a roll, a roll and a unique bow attack that's fast. I could perhaps be in the middle of a fight, fighting like this, and then quickly roll and shoot to finish an enemy. Or a player. The potential is there. I'm excited. Okay. Let's try aiming. What's this? Oh. 
Oh, I can fire like loads of shots off at once. Okay, so I could aim at this guy is what I was thinking of doing. But instead, what I'm going to do is fire off loads of shots like this. Get fucked, mate. It does way less damage, but fires so fast. That's so cool, dude. Oh my god, that's so cool. The cleric sacred sacred chime. Oh, I didn't see you there. Okay. I didn't see you there either. Get the fuck out of my face, sword guy. You piece of shit. Right in the penis. There you go. Guys, I apologize if my voice is a little bit... I'm not hesitant, but I'm not... I'm purposely not being loud. It is late. The game just came out. I'm recording this right away. And I don't want to wake everyone up. Secret item. The first spear, spear user. What are the tools I have in my belt exactly? The dark sign, there it is. Some souls. Other than that, nothing like throwing daggers or firebombs. We have a guy with a crossbow, a guy with a spear. We're going to be careful here, we're going to be logical. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Use this. Aim. Get fucking shot. I'm trying to headshot this guy. He dodged. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's awkward, don't worry about it. He dodged again. Alright, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to have to learn that one, guys, apparently. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Guys, bows. Brand new. Forgive me. Now you... Get the fuck... Off my cliff. Alright, good to see. That's from Dark Souls 2, that. When you kick someone who's blocking, you can get like a little... Cool animation there. All right, let's kill this guy with a bow since he's so desperate. It's this cool new animation that we're trying and enjoying. All right, we're just going to dodge that shot. Okay, now. Get fucked, mate. Oh, that's so good. That's so fucking good. Firebombs. Like magic. And they're equipped. There'll be a tool in her belt. Prize possession and a useful thing to use. Don't forget that I could go left here. Up and left. Try jumping. No way. Okay, this is fine. I can clear this area. I just need to make this jump. Okay, let me just quickly test jump. Because they changed the they changed the buttons of jumping several times. It looks like they've done that again. Yep. So it's left, uh, left stick to jump this time. You can change it, I'm sure. Let's give it a try. Damn. See, that's why losing the left stick's bad. Because at the last moment, you press it and you'll turn the direction of your jump. So we're going to quickly change that. Okay, key binding changed. We're going to make that jump again. While falling, try a plunging attack. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, so satisfying. Okay, so I have taken unnecessary damage. I've wasted a uh, heal. I'm going to quickly go back. I must admit... The trailers give away a bit, and I instantly recognize this area. I know what's coming. All right, boys, it's attempt number two. Here we go. And there you go. That is why you use B instead of the analog stick. You'll be able to control where you jump a lot better. Okay. So again, it's in the trailers kind of know what's coming. I mean, I don't know the specifics, but I mean, it's pretty it's pretty clear. Look at this area, man. But how does this work? You're not going to attack me or anything, are you, fella? You're going to have a nice conversation with me. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Pretty cool fucking area, man. Look at that tree. Oh! And all of the roots that spread out cling to the sides of these graves. It's beautifully dark. Oh, he's got a sword in him. Look at that. Oh, God, what's going on? He's back. Fucking corruption shit right there. Remove sword. 
Sure, that seems logical. What could go wrong? Ooh, blood. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Ludex Gundir. You look cool as shit. Impressive. Now look at my damage. Ooh. Ow. He straight up punched me. Ow. Okay. Alright, he moves weirdly. I think he's going to be surely less of an opponent than that crystal lizard thing. Alright. Beautiful music, though. Let's get a power attack going. Or oh, two. Ooh. Okay. I've got to be careful here. I don't want to be greedy. I love how f nice it feels to heal. Ah, ha, ha. Ooh, that was bad. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. No way. <laughs> oh. Dark Souls. Man, you catch me off guard. I must admit that was really dumb of me. Letting him hit me so much. I wanted to justify the heal. It was silly. So I, all, I, I didn't let him hit me. But I didn't necessarily try as hard as I should have. Oh god. To stop him from hitting me. Which was dumb. Because I wanted to make sure the heal was like worthy. Oh, okay. See, this one, I don't like healing here. Because it's inefficient. Which is a dumb reason not to fucking heal. Let me tell you. Oh my god, I staggered him for a second there. Okay, come on. And some beautiful damage so far. So quick. I love the agileness of the... Dagger. Nearly halfway there, I guess. Doing good. Oh, whoa! Get that shit away from me. What the fuck is that? Oh. What is wrong with you? Oh. Oh, staggered him. Oh, shit. Don't die now. Holy shit, okay. One more heal. Oh no! Ooh. Come on, get the damage in! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Ooh. There he is. And we've unlocked the coiled sword. That was the weapon he was, uh. using? No, his weapon was more of a lance. Or a hal halberd, even. Maybe it's the sword I took out of him. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. There you go. There you go. So it's probably not a weapon I'm going to be able to use. It's not even coming up. In fact, is it even an item you use? Or is it a key? It is a key. Sword missing from the shrine bonfire. Cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thrust into the shrine bonfire to restore its power and enable travel between bonfires. This sword is only bequeathed to the chosen Ash as judged by Ludex, who awaits the arrival of Ash as a scabbard. He's literally the guy, like, that contains the sword. He is its scabbard. Amazing. And so this... I've earned the right by defeating him to light this bonfire. I've I've proved myself worthy to leave this area, I suppose. It's a graveyard and other undead are going to be reviving. It's not just me. I'm not special, am I? There's thousands. It's all of the other people playing their own playthroughs. Awaken and must face this challenge to prove themselves worthy That is genius. Well, now that I'm all fiery, and I've gained this ember, guess I'm worthy. Guys, it's a short one, the first episode. It's uh, day one of release, and I need to get this up as fast as possible. 
I hope you forgive me. I hope this was a nice introduction to Dark Souls 3. And I will see you very soon for the next episode. These episodes will come out very regularly. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And I'll see you next time in Dark Souls 3. Fuck yes.